Maybe I should start by expressing profound gratitude to His Excellency the President, uh, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, uh, President uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and all the people that God has used to make him take this decision. Uh, in the last eight years, Customs has gone through a period of uh, transition. Uh, some progress has been made. Uh, we made remarkable progress in uh, e-customs. Uh, we made a lot of breakthrough in capacity building. But then, customs can still live to its full potentials. You know, when we bring in some kind of innovations to drive customs operations. So these are the kind of things we'll be looking forward to in the years ahead. And I've gotten the assurance of the president through the vice president who just uh, did this ceremony. Expectations. Well, the expectations that we have is that uh, uh, we are going to be professional in our approach. Uh, there are a number of uh, partners, stakeholders that we are going to be working with. It's a very onerous task for the customs, but we believe that we will be working alongside other stakeholders, uh, other partners uh, that we have identified who yearn to work with us, uh, who felt that they've not been given enough uh, uh, enough say in customs matters, customs operations. So we intend to come up with a number of innovations that would help to uh, carry along uh, those stakeholders, those partners. Uh, we're going to leverage technology. We're going to try and use those innovative technologies to break new grants in customs operations. Thank you very much.